Hey there, it is Aunt Carla from Marie Lizzo, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a 55 times five scripting journal. So this is a technique that I've used for various different things to manifest different things that, you know, in my life, as far as like actually meeting my soulmate, meeting, you know, the man who became my husband, um, the home that I now live in, the musical that I co-wrote with my husband. And I forget about these things until I go back and find my original journal and I look back and I'm like, oh my God, I journaled about that. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that you can do this. So now this is my second journal, I believe, but I have one that looks just like it and I got it from the dollar store. Nothing fancy, just like a little lined book and you can use any kind of notebook. It's not supposed to be anything really special. It doesn't have to be. You can just get a journal. I would recommend that you get something that's brand new, that you don't have other things in it that you can dedicate just to your manifestation work. So what I did was, the first time I ever did uh, one of these journals, um, for a 30 day period, I would write something that I wanted. So this, I, I happened, this one is from, uh, January 2019, this first one. Well, this is actually my second book, but it says, um, I am so excited about our new house. Jim and I now live in an inspiring home in upstate New York where we create so much art and music. I love how much light comes through the windows, making it easy to capture photos and videos and just plain create wonderful light energy. Um, blah, 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 blah. Ah, we both each have our own workspace where we are comfortable and able to create at any time of the day. This home of ours is such a joy and I am so grateful to work from it every day if I choose. Jim and I are self-sufficient and are able to create multiple streams of income. I remember when living and working from home was just a dream. I am so grateful to have this as my reality. Thank you, God. And you can use whatever, you know, deity that you choose or not. So how I did this 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 time in 2019, um, well, actually, this was originally like in 2018 when I first did them. I did one every single day. I would write like a whole page and I would come from a place of gratitude. So what do you have to do? You have to think about what is it that you want to create. And before you actually write in your book, take some time to fantasize. Are you looking to get another house or a new house? Are you looking to get a new job or a car? What is it that you are trying to create? Now, the thing about journal scripting, this is law of attraction work. So this is not about writing, dear diary, my life sucks. This is about writing what you want to see. This is about writing about your desired income. So this is me saying, I am so grateful that, I am so happy that this is happening. I am so happy that I'm working in this new job, making X amount of dollars you know, per week, per year, per month. And I love the people that I work with. I think I, I, I enjoy the work environment that I'm in. So think about if you're looking for another job, for example, how much do you wanna make? And what kind of you know uh, what kind of environment are you looking for? And that is what you would write down. So how I originally would do this was I would take like a whole page and I would just write whatever I wanted um, to happen. I would take like you know for for this these first ones I wrote like a page two pages for each day and then I would do that for I did that for the whole month of January. Sometimes I wrote about the same thing. Sometimes I wrote things differently. But having said that, you can totally do that that way. And I, I like to do things in a focused way and I like to do it at least 30 days in a row. Now on, on YouTube, you can find all different kinds of ways of, of manifesting um, using a scripting journal method, but I'm gonna teach you the way that I have found works for me really well. So now while I have gone back to my, my scripting journal and have found that things have actually come true, I found a way that I like it even more, I, like a method of scripting that I liked even more. So yes, the scripting did work, but for things that I really want to dig into, I like to use the method that I found that is called the 55 by five manifestation method. And what this means is you are taking a short phrase and you're writing it 55 times in one day, in one sitting, 
for five days in a row. And what this does is it creates an energetic framework for whatever it is that you are trying to create. So, for example, I am so grateful for creating $5,000 every month in my online business. Thank you, God. And I wrote that 55 times in a row, 55 times in one sitting. Now, some people, when they do this kind of method, they're like, oh, my, my fingers hurt. And, and I get that. But the thing is, you want to be comfortable when you're writing your script. You know, you want to take your time and give yourself at least an hour. And if you feel like your hand's starting to cramp, that is when you just like relax a little bit and then you just keep writing it. And when you do this kind of scripting, you're creating like this really powerful container for what it is that you want to create. So if you do this 55 times in the morning or 55 times in the evening, you are showing up to your goal every single day. Now, as I said before, I have done scripting, a scripting method where I wrote, I wrote about different things and those things actually have come true as well. But I feel the 55 by five method has been the most powerful for me because I'm really focused on what it is that I want. So uh, having a short affirmation, maybe one or two sentences and you repeat that, you write it 55 times in a row five days in a row. And if you skip a day, you miss a day, start all over and do it again. This is, it's like when you have this one thing that you are looking for, I am look, I am so excited about my new Toyota 7400. I'm making up numbers clearly. <laughs> um, I am so grateful about, I'm so excited about my new red car or whatever it is that you're trying to create. It's important that you add emotion to your affirmation. So the affirmation can be about one or two sentences. Write that for 55 times in a row. Get your, just get comfortable, get your notebook, and then you just write it over and over and over again. You get your 55 times in, your 55, you know, repetitions in, and you repeat that every day for five days. To me, that is much more powerful than doing different things every day. And if this is something that's really important to you, it is worth your putting your focus in it. And some people like to get really fancy and maybe use like a certain colored pen. You can have like, if you're trying to raise money, you can, or attract money, you can use a green pen. If you are trying to get love, then you would, you know, I'm so excited that I'm getting married this year, or I'm so excited that I've met my soulmate. You can do that in red or pink. Um, if you're doing something that involves like power or psychic or something like that, psychic, you know, information, then you could use purple. So if you wanted to use some kind of color coordination, you can do that. Now that's just a basic method, the 55 by five manifestation method for scripting. And remember, this is just for scripting the outcome that you want. This is not to be used for, for complaining. This is about seeing the outcome that you wish, that you desire. And after you've done it once, use the same book again and again and again, because that also, that repetition makes your book even more powerful. Now, if you want to get witchy about it, and you know, that's what I like to do, you can make this an even more powerful method by adding certain magical elements. So for example, before you sit down, whether it's morning or evening, before you sit down to write your 55 by five, light a candle, light some incense, have a glass of water, and uh, maybe have some crystals or flowers. Set it up on your altar or make your table your altar. Include these different elements. If you really want to go wild, then I would say also offer uh, play play music that is in alignment with what you are trying to accomplish. So for example, I have a money manifestation playlist that I use when I'm doing my, my prosperity work. So I would play that while I am doing, you know, while I'm doing my scripting. Now, if lyrics or hearing voices gets in your way, then you might want to listen to some other kind of music that doesn't have lyrics or maybe some kind of like binaural beats that you can also find 
on on YouTube that is for that is used for prosperity. Um, if you want to check out my money manifestation playlist, I will have that link down below. And so if you want to get witchy, set up your elements, your earth, uh, earth, water, fire, air, your elements, get comfortable, maybe play some music, ground yourself, meditate, and then you write your 55 affirmations with using, you know, that include emotion for 55 times. Take your time. If you feel your hands start to cramp up, that means slow down, relax your hand and continue. Do it for five days in a row and then you let it go. You, then you, you know, you, you put out your candle, put out your incense and you're done for the day. But creating it, adding like that of these other magical elements that also makes things exciting. So before I met my husband, for example, I was using the song, my vision of love. So I was writing about what I did with that one. And this is like a different method, but it's kind of the same thing. I did one day, I had written down all the different qualities that I, I wanted in, in my relationship, in my you know ideal relationship. I wrote it down once. And then for every day, for about two months, I would read it aloud along with Mariah Carey singing Visions of Love in the background. I did that over and over till I got tired and that took about two months. And then I mean tired of it, like I felt bored, like okay, I was good. And that is when I released it and I let it go. But sure enough, I did end up meeting the man that I am now married to. So I believe that scripting works. So if you are into law of attraction, if you are into magic, but you're still in the broom closet, you can use this method. So you do not have to use incense or candles if that's not in your, if you, you don't have the privacy, but you can still find a way to use the scripting method to create your own reality. So I, all I would say again, try to focus on one thing at a time. We have so many days in a year, so you can focus five days on whatever it is that you really want. So that is me, Aunt Carla. <laughs> if you want to learn about more tips, I have a prosperity course and if there's a link down below on how you can get that, learn even more prosperity and law of attraction and magical tips. So you have a great day and I will see you later.